Hey, Transformers! The lovely and super talented Ashley Monique Menard interviewed me on her show, the F Your Fears podcast. <laughs> what a name for a show, huh? Since so much of our actor's career is held back by fear, this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, so please hang out with us and hear some ideas to have a more prosperous and joyful acting career. Break legs. Hello, my sweet darling, and welcome to the F Your Fears podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Monique Menard. I'm an award-winning actress, plus-size model, singer, audiobook narrator, coach, and writer. Ooh, and creator of The Art of Blowing It, which can be found on YouTube. Yes, I know, I got a lot of hyphenates, so I get it which is why I bring on so many different types of artists to this show. Because I know sometimes we as creatives wear different hats. So you will hear stories from directors, writers, actors, musicians, everyone under the sun. Hopefully one of these stories will inspire you. I thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. Oh, let's get it going, y'all. Let's bring it on. Who we got today? Today's very special guest is Miss Carrie Messina. Oh, you guys, I'm really excited. Carrie has done a little bit of everything. She's an award winning actress with hundreds of acting credits to her name. She's covered just about every corner of this industry and as a producer, as an actress, and as well as a transformation coach. She helps hundreds of actors create major breakthroughs in their careers. She's going to talk to us today about actor transformation. Actor transformation. During it, I kept calling it actor's transformation. No, it's singular. It is not plural. You can go to actortransformation.com to check out while you're actually listening to the podcast. You can learn while you're listening, or you can check it out later. She does coaching. She's got goodies on there. That way you can see what Carrie brings to the table. But in this particular episode, we talk about fear, and we talk about ways that performers have to get through the fear. And I am so excited. Carrie is a wealth of information, and she loves loves actors and she shares that passion with me and I love y'all so it was so good like it was so good feeling that like bond and like oh I just I listened to this podcast twice while editing and I was like oh, I love her voice I love this whole vibe I'm really into it and so I hope you're digging it too so without further ado let's go ahead and just bring out Miss Carrie over here y'all she is such a powerhouse coach, and for all my actors who are listening to this episode, you are in for such a treat, such a treat. So get ready, strap in, open your mind, and get ready for the support that you need as well as the guidance. So thank you so much, Carrie, for coming on the show, and thank you so much for being here, you out there. Time to listen. Let's see what's going on. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Ashley, for having me. <laughs> I'm really stoked. I'm really, really stoked. You really love actors and you love helping actors. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, what's better than actors? Come on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> actors are like going after their dreams. They're, they entertain the world. It's like, I feel like it's a noble profession that kind of gets looked down upon sometimes. But I'm like, what is better than trying to make people feel and understand the human condition and laugh and cry and dream, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a great thing to be an actor. <laughs> so whenever it comes to, whenever it comes to um, fear, it's like a big topic mm -hmm. that we talk about here on the show. Um, yeah. You have a lot of thoughts about fear and how fear affects performers. Um, would you care to elaborate on that? I would care to elaborate. <laughs> I'd love to hear it, so give it to me. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on fear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I really, um, I think we, we talked about this briefly. I think it affects, it's one of the biggest things that holds back actors in their careers. Mm -hmm. And it affects 
everything in ways that we don't even see, like it's really sneaky. Mm -hmm. So it affects marketing, it affects your press, it affects your IMDb, it affects your auditions, your performances, your agent searches, your relationships, everything. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Um, And it comes in, here's the thing. I say that fear is sneaky and it comes in many disguises. It comes in wearing many costumes. Mm -hmm. So it will come in the form of things like, oh, I don't want to bug them. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, I don't want to brag. That's a biggie, right? Mm -hmm. Fear of rejection or even something as simple as I've seen this hold a lot of people back where they like to label themselves with the label of I'm not good with computers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something as simple as I'm not good with computers then that makes someone feel better for not really going and learning how to do their social media properly Mm -hmm. or learning how to, or maybe like say, like what you're doing here is amazing. You know, do you know how many people want to do a podcast and didn't have the cojones to do it? Oh, thanks. Thank you. It's so good. It's so good. I love when... People are proactive and say, okay, this is scary and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it anyway and I'm going to learn as I go. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I did. (laughs) (laughs) Because guess what? You're not born knowing how to do a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You're not born knowing how to get headshots. You're not born knowing how to get your first agent Mm -hmm. or to get press or to get on red carpets. Mm -hmm. None of this, there's this weird kind of misconception where people feel like, oh, well, I don't know how is good enough a reason not to do something. Mm-hmm. Well, why would you know how? You, you're not supposed to know how. You haven't done it yet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sometimes, not, it's just, sometimes you just got to get logical on yourself and say, I don't know how. And then little devil, little devil, little uh, angel on your shoulder, you know how they talk. <laughs> mm-hmm. So if the devil's telling you, I don't know how, then you say, well, why would you? I, you haven't done it yet. Let's mm-hmm. figure it out. And then you will know how. Okay. It's just sometimes that simple. Mm-hmm. Um, so taking the steps towards what can really make a difference in the world, like a podcast where you're helping not only Yes, it can help your career, but it helps everybody that comes on your show and it helps everybody that listens. Mm-hmm. Like that is such good use of time and energy and heart and soul, you know? Carrie, oh my God, I'm like so crushing on you right now. My heart <laughs> is so happy. Thank you. Aww. I cry. <laughs> but it's oh. true. Don't you make me cry? <laughs> well, thank you. But That's it's true. Me the this world in this industry is for the people who are willing to go beyond their fears it's the whole title of the podcast yeah yeah <laughs> right it's like Totes. that's where all the goodies are mm-hmm. it's where all the treasures are hidden is on the just the other side of your comfort zone mm-hmm. okay they're not i always say spielberg is not going to come into your living room <laughs> okay he's not going to find you there mm-hmm. So you have to just make peace with what you don't know or what is scary or all those yucky feelings that are coming up and it's okay to have them. Who cares? Right? Yeah. It's just a feeling. It's not the end of the world. It's just a feeling. And if you can talk to yourself in a way that like minimizes whatever the fear is, Mm -hmm. first feel it. It is important to feel it, Mm -hmm. (laughs) but Fear is there for a reason, and we have become, we're not highly enough evolved species to always know the difference between when the fear is there to protect us Mm -hmm. versus when the fear is there to just keep us small. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the reason we have fear in our bodies and in our minds is to save us from when a tiger is running after us to eat us, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or if we're walking down a dark alley and we know that we're in danger or something, that's where, why fear exists. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we would just go and do crazy things that 
we end up uh, in bad situations all the time or dead or something, you know, that's why it exists. But what happens is we are now in a different planet where we're most people we're lucky if we don't have to fight for just a glass of water every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we're lucky enough to have food on our table, a roof over our head and have clean drinking water, then we're way ahead of a good portion of the planet, right? Mm -hmm. So then fear still is lingering around in our bodies and it makes up stories for why we're not supposed to email that agent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Why we're not supposed to step on that stage Mm -hmm. because they're going to all stare at you, Mm -hmm. right? Or why I'm not going to... um, Sometimes you can just even talk yourself out of doing a good audition when you're even prepared, right? Mm -hmm. So all those things are there in theory to protect you, but there's no actual danger. Yeah. Okay. So if we can, if we can (laughs) kind of, I joke with myself all the time, like when I'm scared of something. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you really ask yourself, is there really a reason to be scared most of the time? I'd say 90, 95% of the time, it's just stupid. Totes. I totally agree. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So if, if we can just have a little talk with ourselves and say, so what? Or, oh, get over yourself. Mm-hmm. Or, or on with the show. You know, be positive with it. Yeah. And say, Yep, I'm scared, but I'm on with the show anyway. That's a good one because that's a positive way to look at it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but at the end of the day, this isn't the worries that we have, the stresses that we have when it comes to just our acting career are usually at the base level, not that serious. Mm -hmm. But we make them the huge, huge mountains of stress and anxiety and worry. So if you want to take your career seriously, but not yourself so seriously, I guess that's a good way to look at it too, right? Mm, At the end of the day, we're doing this because it's fun. Yeah, We're doing this because we don't want to have a normal, boring life, right? We want to have an extraordinary existence. Definitely. And sometimes that ego has to hit the (laughs) backseat. Totally. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, ego is an interesting thing, isn't it? Isn't it? It really is. How that just like <laughs> well, I mean, we we develop it as we're as we're growing up and we're forming our personality and like we we could use it as a mask to protect ourselves and then sometimes we'll get stuck in it and we don't we don't see it for what it is. You know, yeah. that ego, it just it becomes it, it for sometimes and not for everyone. And sometimes a lot of people out there might be like, what is the ego? What's going on? Which, you know, we could definitely talk about, but I feel like even, even within myself, I've, I've noticed over the past couple of years where I don't even realize how I'm coming off at certain moments. And I realize Mm -hmm. it's my ego that just kind of, you know, steps in and, and does the job. It serves as that mask just to present the, what we're trying to present, what we're, what we're working to create is the, 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 the archetype of who we are. It's so interesting. Mm. The archetype of who we are. Yeah. We, we're very attached to our vision of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you know, they say that people will do anything to be, they care much more about being right than they do about being happy most of the time. I believe that for sure. You know, I think we've seen a lot of that recently, you know, for sure is so much controversy of everybody just wants to be right Mm -hmm. instead of how about happiness is the priority instead Mm -hmm. peace. Mm -hmm. kindness you know how about those are priorities instead of being right yeah you know because right doesn't help a lot of the times no you know it doesn't and and especially if you're trying to be right against someone the other half okay so then the other half is wrong and then they're upset like where's the unity my prayer for humanity is that we can just keep staying connected and keep listening to each other and 
and communicating with each other. Because if we don't do that, yeah. what are we? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, I got to say, I'm, I'm so proud of actors for this past year because of all, all of the silver lining stuff that has come out of this mm-hmm. to, to see that like people have found new ways to create, mm-hmm. you know, new ways to connect. And, you know, I try to always look at the silver lining. So like, okay, last year was horrendous, mm-hmm. but when it comes down to like stuff in our career, maybe there are some blessings like now more podcasts, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, now more um, really supportive YouTube channels. Maybe now it's more um, a lot of really good written scripts that people finally had the time to write those scripts that are now going to be, you know, the Oscar winners three years from now. Yeah. You know, those kinds of things are pretty great. And, and who knows what, I think it's been helpful to a lot of people with the online auditions because the on, audition community has completely changed. Definitely. Probably forever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not going to go back completely. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Because casting directors are really happy that they now don't have to pay rent on an office. Yeah. You know? So there's, there's, but what that did is that opened up so many opportunities to people, to actors in smaller markets that now they're auditioning for bigger roles Mm -hmm. or they get to connect with casting directors that would have otherwise never known that they exist. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. there's, There's always some good stuff that comes out of even the worst times. You know, we just have to kind of embrace it. And for those who are flexible and said, okay, well, I'm sitting home for a year. (laughs) Maybe I should create something for when life goes back to normal. I think that that's pretty cool. I agree. Yeah, I I started the podcast because I, you know, I was chilling in my apartment, looking at my 13 plants and talking to them (laughs) and thought, well, what if I just recorded this? And what if... (laughs) What if they could talk back, but they were performers that I knew? And and that's why I started this. I wanted, you know, everyone is scared, which, I mean, we had reasons to be scared. And and then it also goes into, like, how you've spoken. Like, we, we, we become... We become so afraid of so many things in life. And it's like, let's just talk about the fears as opposed to pretend that they don't exist. Because I know from every single person who's come on this show, I've learned something. I've learned yeah. something and I've enjoyed hearing their story. I felt a huge sense of connection. And I know that the listeners have felt that as well through their messages and through through their posts online, as well as the connection that I feel when I listen to podcasts like Smartless and Emotional Badass. Like I feel it, it just, it brings me so much joy. So the fact that Mm-hmm. This, I mean, this pod, the 2020 for all of the bad things that happened, like I'm so unbelievably grateful because I was able to develop this show and and talk to so many incredible people that I probably wouldn't have had a conversation about X, Y, and Z, but we're able to have that and it goes on and it's, it's there forever and it makes me happy. Yes, as it should, because it's helping people. It makes a difference. Well, it's helping. You know? It's, it, it sure as shit is helping me. <laughs> I'm super like, grateful for that too. <laughs> it's like we're having a coffee date, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it, it's like, except that there's a bunch of people listening at the same time. <laughs> That's sure. pretty cool. It is so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> so, so tell me more about Actors Transformation because I know that you have uh, a beautiful YouTube channel um, as well as you, you work with performers. So could you tell us a little bit yeah. more about that? Yeah, well, Actor Transformation is basically about helping actors with, for the most part, marketing, press, IMDb. Mm. Those are my, like, three specialties. Mm -hmm. But we can't do all those things without also dealing with mindset. Mm -hmm. Mindset is the most important thing, really. (laughs) Um, And uh, facing fears and taking action and all of that. Mm-hmm. So 
I always say that there's four corners of the acting industry Mm -hmm. and and there's only four. So when, yes, there's a million tasks to do, but if you look at it, these are the four you have basically your craft is one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. That covers a lot of area, but it's, can you act right? Can you sing? Can you dance? Whatever. But the craft of our art, then you have relationships. Okay. So that could be everything from your, your fellow actors to your representation, to your photographers, to your cast and crew, you know, all all kinds of things, your whole world of who, you know, basically. Um, Then you have press and marketing, which I put together, which is that that's the whole planet really that it covers so many details. I think most actors primarily just get headshots and then maybe they get a website. Maybe they, back in the day we used to do postcards, maybe, Mm -hmm. you know, um, now there's social media, but there's really so much more. There's so much more. I mean, just IMDB alone. That's like I said, that's one of the things that, I specialize in because it's hard for people to get help with. Mm -hmm. So I love helping people with that because it's like people feel like there's a big question mark over it Mm -hmm. and don't know. And most people honestly have no clue on how to optimize their page. Mm -hmm. Like if they might have a third of it done at the most, if, if they think it's completely done, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's a big deal. That's a big thing um, that I help with. And then the final and most important is mindset, mm. you know, which touches on everything. I mean, this is this, this whole podcast is about mindset. Mm-hmm. Fear is about mindset. So it can show up like procrastination. It can show up like perfectionism, mm-hmm. um, putting all your hopes on an agent to save you. Mm-hmm. I mean, nobody, nobody, <laughs> Nobody thinks of it that way. They don't think that they think that way. But when it comes down to it, you hear over and over and over again, year after year, thousands of actors on social media saying, oh, I, you know, my career would be so much better if I just had an agent or a better agent. Mm -hmm. And honestly, that's not the answer ever. Yeah. Really hardly ever. (laughs) It has very little to do with your success. Mm-hmm. So I, I tell people, I want you to cons- be your own hero. Stop waiting for the magical agent angel to come down from the sky and sprinkle actor dust on you. <laughs> okay. It's not going to happen. You're going to instead go and make your career happen. Go out and actively create, 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 whatever that means. Um, you know, there are so, there are so many things that you can take control over now. It's not like it was even 20 years ago. You can do like 95% of your career straight from your computer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's amazing what you have opportunities to, and the sky's the limit. You could even create something that doesn't exist right now, you know? Mm-hmm. So getting out of worrying about the fear of rejection is a big thing. And so actor transformation, I help people in many different ways. Sometimes it's coaching. Sometimes I have classes or programs. Um, I do have the YouTube channel, which I, everybody should go to. Because that's I've been working on that. Um, and that will just get bigger and better as we go. Um, but I really feel like it's, it's so important to get support. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's really easy as an actor to just feel like you're kind of flailing around and not knowing what to do next. Mm-hmm. But getting strategic steps on, okay, this is where we're at. This is where we want to go. And these are the steps that we're going to take to get there. Mm-hmm. You know, that just feels better. That feels, <laughs> when you get actual tangible action items on a very abstract career <laughs> it can change the game mm-hmm. you know it'd be like oh okay I thought I was working hard but what I was really doing was thinking a lot mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. that's very common definitely is there I'm not saying that people aren't working hard I'm saying but we work on what we want to work on 
Mm -hmm. Right. So we work on what's comfortable. Actors have no problem at all taking acting classes and getting headshots and, and struggling to find their next agent. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We know how to do that all day long. But what might be a little fearful is, okay, now how do you instead contact showrunners or get a mentor, a high powered mentor? Or, or write letters because who the hell does that anymore? Yeah, you know, or or actually ask for what you want in life. Heaven forbid, mm. you know, um, making real authentic connections, even though it's just online, they can still be very real friendships and contacts. Mm-hmm. You know, so having all that, um, there's so much to be done. And when you have support and kind of, we all need support. We all need some nourishment. We all need some, sometimes an outside eye. Mm -hmm. Like there's sometimes very simple things that a coach can help an actor with of just like, oh, maybe like their website they thought was fine. And then within literally three seconds, I can see 10 things to fix. Mm -hmm. That are easy. They're not even, you know, stressful. You just just go do this, this, and this, and then it's going to be better for the rest of your life. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. So there are sometimes little solutions that can make a big difference, which I love. That I love when it's things that are we work on tangible things, tangible actor actions that you just do one, two, and three, and then maybe you don't have to touch that for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know. I love things that have little, little bit of work that have big results. That makes me happy. That's the best. I mean, it's working. What is it? Working smarter, not harder. Yes. Yeah. That's such a great way to live. It really is. I feel like a lot of you out there that are listening to this, you've already Googled actors transformation, right? (laughs) I know if I were listening to this, I definitely would for the first time. I'd be like, (laughs) what is this? I've got to get in on this. How can people contact you? Yeah. So, well, there you go. There's one way. Um, (laughs) It's actor singular. So it's actortransformation.com. And I always have a goodie for you guys. <laughs> it's right on the right on the home page. Like uh, I think right now I have um, three e with easy ways to improve your IMDb. Mm-hmm. Um, and then definitely one hundred percent get on the Actor Transformation YouTube channel, mm-hmm. which I can give you that link because I I think it's so funny if you go and type in Actor Transformation on YouTube, mm-hmm. you see a bunch of actor transformation so you see a bunch of guys that are shirtless <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to work on that and change that like we'll have Christian Bale really skinny and then really overweight oh yeah that totally, <laughs> you know? makes, sense. That totally makes sense but, well I will yeah. be sure to put in the show notes the link so everyone can 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 get to the YouTube and easily access your your yeah. content and and connect with you I think that Carrie, I think what you're doing is just so incredible. And I think there are so many actors out there that, you know, we we need to be nourished and we need guidance. And it's not just taking an acting class. It goes beyond that. It's the yeah. foundations that we don't even realize that we need. And I mm-hmm. think you offer that to a lot of performers. And I, I thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Especially for the more advanced actors, I think it really can be where we don't, you don't know what you don't know sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like there's so much more. I don't care what level you're at. Mm -hmm. There's so much more to learn. Definitely. Always Always. forever. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So Um, I guess my, my, my last question would be whenever you feel fear start to creep into your own life, what do you do to deal with that? I have many different strategies. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the, the easiest is kind of what we, we already talked about is just get a reality check sometimes where it's like a, is this really a big deal? Mm. Is this really a big deal? Mm-hmm. You know? So I look at sometimes worst case, best case, mm. meaning if you're, or if I'm feeling hesitant to send that email, 
let's say. We always have that email that we don't want to hit send on, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Let's say you're looking for a new agent or something. So what is happening spinning around in your brain is all the horrible things that could happen. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, they're... they said to contact them, but they didn't really mean it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or, or I met them at a film festival and, and, but that was too long ago. So I lost my shot, mm-hmm. you know, little things like that. So what's the worst that can happen? Pretty, what, maybe they yell at you. That's the, the very worst that can happen. Yeah. Will you live another day if you get yelled at? Yes, you will survive. <laughs> yeah. You will survive. You can handle it. You're stronger than you think. Mm-hmm. And then look at the best case. So what's the best case that could happen in this scenario? They get your email. They respond. You sign with them. They're your best agent you ever had. You live happily ever after. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's no contest. So worst case, best case is a good strategy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, Unless your brain goes to a million reasons why there's worst case. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, Also, I want to say a good strategy is to strengthen your why. Mm. Okay. So strengthen your why. Remember why you're doing this in the first place. Remember why you're an actor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're feeling fearful about something, Remember why you're, why you're here. What do you love about acting? If you have 50, if you write down 50 reasons why you love acting and then it has to battle against one little itty bitty fear, the fear has, is no contest. Mm -hmm. The why is so much stronger. So that helps a lot. That really does. Also don't overlook your uh, physiology. Mm-hmm. You know, it's important to sometimes just, um, I don't know if you guys know about Mel Robbins' five-second rule. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell so, everyone out there about it. Yeah, if you don't know, go look at look her up because she's mm-hmm. funny. She's so smart. Mm-hmm. And she's kind of a tough broad, which I like. Mm-hmm. Um, but she she basically had this thing where she was in a severe depression. And then one day she's like, Okay, I'm going to get up in five seconds. And she would count it down like five, four, three, two, and then she's up. Mm-hmm. Because the reason for this is because when we're fearful, when we have a lot of anxiety, or when even we're depressed, it's spinning around focusing on the wrong things. And if we can just change our state and get out of that state, even just for a moment, Mm -hmm. It can change the trajectory of that entire day or maybe your entire life, you know? So count down for five seconds and just say, okay, I'm just going to get up and do it. Or I'm just going to send that email or I'm just going to make that phone call. Just hit the button. Don't make it anything except I'm just going to hit send, right? Mm -hmm. Make it simple. Um, Another strategy is please schedule, schedule support. I can't stress this one enough. Mm. I can't stress this enough. So set appointments for yourself because you're giving yourself deadlines. One of the scariest things I did on a regular basis was to do the 48 hour films. You know, those, no, what are those? Oh, they're so awesome. So they're, they're competitions where you go on a Friday night Mm -hmm. and you pick the genre that you have to make a movie about out of a hat. Oh. And then they give you a line of dialogue, a character, and a prop. And then your team rushes like maniacs. <laughs> and within 48 hours, you run to the finish line with a movie. What? That's so yeah. cool. It's so cool. And if that doesn't make you, um, if that doesn't make you, if that doesn't make you get out of fear, it's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrifying and so rewarding. And oh. you don't know what you're going to do. So you have no idea if you're going to be making a musical or a Western or a drama or a comedy or whatever. And then 48 hours later, you have a whole entire movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That is so cool. It's so good. So, but what it, 
the reason why that works is because maybe you've had it on your to-do list forever to do a movie, mm-hmm. right? Or even just to write a short film or whatever, and you haven't gotten around to it. This gives you the deadline. I so give yourself deadlines, make appointments, make coffee, Zoom meetings, mm-hmm. make headshot session. If you if, if getting new headshots has been on your to-do list forever, don't worry about all the minutia of it. Just go and call or email the photographer and schedule for the session for two months from today. Because then it actually happens. Mm-hmm. Or a month from today or next week or whatever. And then you'll figure out the rest. Okay, so appointments, appointments, classes, webinars, work with a coach, even if it's not me, Mm -hmm. you know, um, work with people that can support you and give you deadlines. Because what happens is when you know, ooh, my class is tomorrow, you make it happen. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't do the homework, Mm -hmm. right? Totally. Totally. Let's look at those taped auditions, right? Mm-hmm. If someone sends you a casting director sends you a self tape and gives you a week to do it, most people are going to wait till the last day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right? Why? Because there's a deadline attached. Yeah. So, give yourself your own deadlines is is a great way to get out of fear. I love that. I love that. I I do that all the time and I I could not agree with you more that that I mean, deadlines totally changed my life, especially when I had absolutely nothing going on. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) I had nothing going on. And then I set deadlines for things and then stuff started happening. I can't agree with you more on that. I love that. Yeah. It's so true. If if you can have it be with, have your own personal deadlines, like Mm -hmm. mini goals, but Mm -hmm. then actually schedule the appointment so that, you're messing with somebody else's life if you don't show up. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And having an accountability buddy, that really yeah. works as well, for sure. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, so true. <laughs> Carrie, I'm so I'm so grateful that you came to chat with us on the show. Is there is there anything else you'd like to share with our listeners? You know what, guys? Uh, just know that I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love actors. Um, and it's okay to be scared. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that sometimes people think that, especially if you call yourself kind of insecure, mm-hmm. insecure people look at confident people and say, oh, they're lucky. Mm. But getting past fear has nothing to do with not feeling fear. Mm-hmm. It just means you feel the fear and you do it anyway. It's, it, Mm-hmm. It's so true. Yeah. And then that makes you more confident as you go saying, I didn't know if I could do it. And I did it anyway. That's how you get stronger. That's how you get more confident. That's how you get over your fears. And they're never going to go away altogether. They're with you forever. So stop thinking they're, they're, they're bad or evil. That's it. Right? Ding, ding, Make ding. Peace with them. Make peace with them. I love that. I love that. Carrie, thank you so much for coming on the show and thank you for sharing your wisdom with everyone. It's been an absolute pleasure. I've, I've learned so much from you and I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much and go out and get them everyone. (laughs) (laughs) So what'd you think of the episode? Mm, It was good, right? Well, if you enjoyed it, please let us know on the social media. If you haven't subscribed, think about it. Why not? Um, but I do really want to encourage you to go to actortransformation.com. Check out more about Carrie. She is so incredible. So incredible. And you know who else is incredible? You. You are so incredible and worthy of everything you could possibly want. You just have to figure out what you want, create an action plan and start working to it. I know. Pivotal, right? (laughs) What a concept. Well, in the meantime, I will be here with you, talking to you, inspiring you, and going along this journey at the same time you are. So let's do it and take care of yourself. Have a good one. Thanks so much for joining us. Isn't Ashley great? Please comment below. I can't wait to hear from you. And check out these other videos. And as always, break legs.